Auto save three. Wiz Sphere World, Wizard World, Planet Toaster. I remember making these. It was in 2016. I pre-ordered this goddamn game. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat of like phlegm. You know, hit my thymus gland as I was instructed to do. Apparently, it helps your immune response. You know, just uh, place your chest uh, near the top of your sternum, give it a few fucking good smacks. And hey, this game runs much better. Alright, so I originally wanted to record this game. Like, when it came out. Computer couldn't really handle it, though. At more than 720p. Kind of lower settings. Guests think the Monster 1 is great value. I mean, like... I don't know why. I, why do I care about that? That's not a problem. So this is a Planet Toaster. Let's see what I made here. Yeah, I don't remember making this thing. What what does it look like to you? It kinda looks like a goat's legs, you know, that's what I'm seeing here. <coughs> or a chicken head. It's gotta be some kind of animal, right? Mm-hmm, maybe not. So, uh Wow. But can I not zoom in more than this? Am I stuck on something? Is this really as close as you can get to like your park? That can't be true, can it? Like, yeah, I can go all the way down here. I, You know, did you play a game called Thrillville for, like, the PS2? You could, like, be a guy in your park, and I can't believe that that doesn't exist in this game, unless there's something like it in the workshop. Is there a workshop for this game? I think there is. Shit, I gotta check that now. Community content. Um, I don't think there's mods in the workshop, though. Most popular. Yeah, they're not mods, are they? Well, that's a shame. In some ways, you know, I feel like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 still has the upper hand. But I haven't really played this game. I played it for like nine hours, and this is all I made. Like, already almost four years ago? I pre ordered this goddamn game. I paid like $45 for this thing. And I didn't even really play it. Because I couldn't. It didn't run that well. Like, this was <clears throat> as far as I could get. But, uh, this is pretty cool, right? What's this? Is this, like, grass? What is this supposed to be? It's got some, like, parallax or something. It makes it look like it has depth to it, but it doesn't. It's just a flat texture. I think. I can't tell. Maybe it, th those are actual bumps. Someone want to tell me? Yeah, they look like they're there. Yeah, check this out. Cool effects and shit. Well... I'm going to, uh, play just the campaign, I guess. I felt like recording today. I don't know, I get the urge sometimes. And I feel like it's a good way to, like, you know... Best for me, I think. Because who the fuck's gonna watch this? If you're watching this right now, um, uh, thank you, I guess. You're an idiot. <laughs> Stop watching. <clears throat> We're going to, uh... It's always weird to get back into the recording, <clears throat> especially because, like, my living condition has changed pretty greatly here. Let's try, uh, the career mode. Coaster Novice. Because I did one of these, apparently, like, Captain Lockjaw's bur bur buried, fucking buried, buried, I'm... You think it's more, like, accurate to read that as buried instead of buried? Because, like, buried? Like, fuck. You'd think that would be spelled, like, with an E? Or like, so like bear, buried, buried. I'm just like saying what I see. You know, you can't you can't say it's my fault. Anyways, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, this is the guy I like to see, and uh, that's the first one. All right, so I guess it. Creature awakens. Pirate Cove. Pirate battle. Let's start some scenarios here. I actually have like one of the rarest achievements in this game. I'm not sure if it's a good idea for me to I don't know if I should be disclosing this, but you just like put the maximum amount of salt on fries and like no one in like the fucking world has done that except for me for some reason. But I always loved to change like the quantities and we're looking at tycoon for some reason. Rumors of engineers meeting sticky ends scared off this park's staff. Okay. Well you know, we got like the Sarlacc pit here. And uh we got another one over here. <laughs> oh, holy shit, how far does this thing go? It goes straight into the void. What is this?
park entrance. It's locked, so I can't, like, destroy it and ruin myself. Which is what I wanted to do. But, uh, yeah. So we got people showing up for, uh, what's this here? The Kraken's Lair. Yeah. It's, this is probably pretty cool, actually, you know? Let's, let's take a look through it with the camera. You got these unlit torch there. Uh... This is cool. I want to make something. There. I'm excited now. How do I... 2% guest thoughts. Oh, 4% now. It's getting better. Uh, it's, it's getting higher. There's a lot of litter in the park. Make sure there are enough bins. I just fucking got here, man. What do you want from me? How do I ride this thing? Ride camera. Interest. Now I want to be in the seat. Alright, let's see. Can I move the camera around? Free cam. Give me free cam. Well, apparently that's too much to ask. And uh, they got the driver's wheel, driver's side, on the right side. So, uh, we're not in America, baby. We're in Kraken Land. That torch is lit now. And you seriously can't look around in the ride? Ooh, some doors. That's pretty cool. Doors with, like, no texture on Damn. Like, how do you build something like this without your camera just going crazy? It's pretty atmospheric. Damn. Like, I don't know if it makes the ride <clears throat> better or not by adding... Well, it makes it better for you, the guy that's, like, playing the game and watching it, but, like, for the people like these, this is cool as hell. I'll never make something this good. I should just quit now. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty neat. I'm enjoying myself. I don't know about you. Ooh, spooky. What's cinematic gonna do? It's probably just gonna change the angle a bunch, and I don't want that. That's I'm seriously peeved. Kind of middle mouse button. It's middle mouse button. I should have known. So who am I? I can't see my own face. It's not even supposed to be me though, right? But I still want to see. So we got this idiot. This beady little eyes there. They do look like just little beads, don't they? <laughs> We're having like. M more good of a time than you should be allowed. Does this thing ever go, like, crazy? It doesn't look like this could have many drops on it. Oh, shit. Oh, ooh, just barely misses. Just barely misses. You know, unless you're, like, a giraffe, in which case... You know, that's, that's the end for you. Hey, uh... It's this guy. Look at them all. Look at them all. Let's go in here. Now this is what I'm talking about. Now this is cool. Now this is a ride, if I've ever seen one. Like, rides are never gonna be this good in real life. Like, who's gonna hollow out, like, an actual cave and fill it with, like, hydraulic tentacles that probably cost, like, a million dollars each? This is why we gotta have video games, dude. Video game roller coasters. Oh, we could just do this in VR now, you know? You know, because we're, we're evolving. Soon we'll upload ourselves into the, the and, and begin to surf the cyber waves, but you know. Ooh, this looks like it's the climax of the story here. Oh shit. And we need another one? Some cool sound effects. Oh, there he is. And there he is. Is that it? No drops? Because usually that's when like, you'd have the scary drop, you know? You ever been on, uh, what's it called? The Matterhorn? In, uh. Oh shit, you can zoom in. Disneyland or Disney World? I don't know if it's at Disney World. We, we got it here in Disneyland, you know? And, uh, that ride, you know, it, it goes fast when you see the, the Yeti guy. And he's, like, roaring at you and shit. It's just like, what is that for? Is it just like a spotlight? So that was pretty cool. But, uh, not really exciting. It's really good value. Man. Like. Wait. It's $24 to ride the ride? Uh, well, that's good value. That's ridiculous. Like, I was always surprised by like, how these games worked. Like, you don't pay to enter. Like, you pay to go on the rides. Like, entrance is free. It's kind of like a, a fair, you know? I feel like that's kind of ridiculous and silly and stupid. Don't know what you guys think. I can see the track right there. But, like, I don't know how you use this camera to 
holding control seemed to help there, but I might not have actually done shit. Like, how do I go deeper? Don't think I can. Alright, so we got this uh, viewing stand here. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Alright, well. <clears throat> so the sandbox is uh, you get unlimited money, but this it still seems like you can do whatever the hell you want, so I'll just play through these levels because why not? That's what I did with them, all the coasters I couldn't play through. Anyways. And look at all these people. This guy looks pretty incredible, doesn't he? Can you make your own guys in this one? Guest needs happiness? Well, <laughs> I can't really do much for you there, buddy. But he's uh, good on his energy, hunger, thirst, and restroom, you know? He's uh, he's in the orange. That ain't good. Who is this guy? Richard D D D Dale? Dale? I couldn't queue up for the Kraken's lair. You're just not trying hard enough, buddy. You're just not trying hard enough. Mm, and that's like negatively affected his happiness, I guess. Let's see how about this guy here? Oh, he's at max happiness. That's all he's got going for him. And it also is like nausea. And I was thinking maybe that's like his general health. Maybe people can die in this game. You know? That'd be pretty funny. Right? Like you can drown him like another second. And see if I can pick someone up. Oh, you can go into a guest camera. Can I control him? First person. Um, can't control him. But I guess that is kind of helpful. If only you could, like, make your own guy and, like, tell him to go somewhere. Like, if they put this guest camera in, it would be so easy to implement. I don't know, actually. Maybe it wouldn't be. But surely they could have added, like, a be your own guy in the game and, like, you know, talk to your guests and, like, fucking kiss them and hug them like you could in Thrillville, which is pretty ridiculous. It was like a flirt, flirt mode. You do if you were, if you were one of the teenagers. Or you're like the park manager, you'd be like five years old. That's pretty sick. Okay. Let's try to build something, right? Because this is fucking a builder game, right? And then you got the Screamer here and the Steel Vengeance. Screamer. <laughs> oh, man. So this looks like this one sucks, and this one's good. But it is uh, more expensive. Six. Is that only $14,000? Just $14,000. You could construct your own roller coaster. That's like a deal. How much money do I have? Thirteen thousand. Okay, well, looks like I'm gonna have to make a custom one. Copperhead Strike, American Arrow. Well, that one's pretty expensive. Linear synchronous motor can invert for all ages. This one's for adults and teens only. Well, uh, let's go for this one because uh, you know I want fucking to make the money here. We gotta expand the audience. Can I rotate this somehow? Maybe with these guys? Nope. These guys? Nope. 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 Uh, this guy? No. This guy? Nope. This guy? Don't know what I did there, but it's working. Build by. Cancel. Z? It's, it appears to be Z. X. So Z is to rotate. Uh, I found that out through trial and error, just pushing every button on my keyboard. Where should I put him? I feel like this is a better place to start it. Is this the entrance here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. Is shift to go up and down? Mm-hmm. So let's, uh, we'll put him up here. Because we want to keep our guests in good shape. Keep them walking. Is he going to fall? <laughs> Seemed like he was going up when I was doing this, like a helicopter, you know? Yeah, he's like, going up and down. No, he's not moving anymore. Or he's like a screw, I'm screwing him in and out, you know? Anyone else seeing that? Just me? Okay. We'll start it like back here, and kind of put it this way. Looking good. Looking good. And now I kind of don't like this game, like you can't just buy the, the shit. It, it makes you make it yourself. Like, well, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. I, it's been a while since I played. How, how do I move it? Yeah, you gotta, like, manually adjust everything. Which is good, but also, like, I'm kinda... I don't have the patience for that. Uh, you know you gotta start by going up, though, baby, because uh, this is a roller coaster, and they go, they go up. 
you don't have much control over the angle here. Unless you do, and I just don't know what I'm doing. Height markers, terrain relative, sea level. Interesting. Turn them off. <sighs> oh my god. Monthly profit? Well, I've made a lot of money, so... I guess that's good. Two thefts? What the fuck did they steal? What, what, do, what is there to steal? Like, something from here? Do they, like, put this woman at gunpoint and just be like, give me some information? Tiamen. I feel like they did a really good job on this, like, fake language. You know? Better than The Sims, even. The Sims got a pretty good fake language. Is that something written there? Let's try to decipher it. It says Kraken. Everything just says Kraken. That's pretty incredible, if you ask me. I've always been fascinated by that, you know? Ever since I got the game, it's like, they're fucking talking. And it sounds convincing. Unfortunately, you can't tunnel into the ground by doing that. Oh man, look, it costs, like, a little bit more. Well, we're breaking the budget now. <laughs> Alright, let's just start with this. How do I build it? Chain lift. Chain lift is cheaper. Can I make it go in a direction? Yeah, fuck yes. Let's have it go this way. Can I make it go up more? Yeah. Longer? No. And then have it, like, curve a little bit? Yeah, you can only go in, like, increments. Instead of having it at, like, 19.06 degrees. Well, we'll keep it at zero. How do I build it now? That's the question I have. Start the test. Let's see. And, uh... And, uh, it doesn't seem to work. But, uh, build, enter. Oh, it's enter to build. Okay. Let's try to curve it a little more, if, if I can. Bring it down a little bit, because that's, like, too much. Right? You know what I'm saying? We'll build this one. Let's have it go up again. And, uh, I guess that's as much as we can get. Like, that's, that's, like... We can get a big angle going here. Let's do it. This is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? But, uh, that's the last one. And, uh, we'll change this here. This could be a fun ride, you know? This, it looks kind of silly right now, though. <laughs> yeah. Looks pretty damn silly. Uh... Is this possible? Okay. Maybe not. Can I just undo everything? Where's, where's the undo button? Do I get back everything that I spent for it? No, I don't. That's so stupid. <laughs> like, come on. Do I have to, like, pause the game for that to happen? Can you pause the game? No. So if I just, like, make a mistake and I regret it and then I just lose some money? Well, shit. That's kind of infuriating. Let's just, uh, keep him a regular guy, you know? Just keep him a regular guy. And we're gonna go for the chains. Was, what was all that standard? Did I have all those as standard? Well, you know. I'm just making, like, a basic boy. That looks like it's pretty good, if you ask me. Go to the standard track now. And, uh, he's looking good. Looking thick. Like, check this out. That's a lot of, that's a lot of wooden bolts. And they don't cost anymore now that they're higher up. I mean, you'd think they would. But they don't. And, oh, 90 degrees, yes. But not for too long. Okay. We're missing a section there, but I guess it's okay. Well, it is 90 degrees. You can still attach them. Come on. Come on. Let's test it. It's... Oh, it changed the sim speed. Oh, I can undo and redo.
Oh, the test was, it was still testing. Alright, let's see here. He works. <laughs> he did it. Okay. Well, the excitement was still changing at the very last second, you know? It's, uh, it's getting a little boring, you know? We're crashed. What do I do here? I feel like this is really the only option. I remember watching a video on roller coasters in like eighth grade. Like after the first drop, they just keep the momentum after that. So you know you don't wanna you don't wanna keep your coaster. You know, let's let's do an angle here. That could be fucking cool. How do I do it? Here we go. Oh, he's going up now. I don't want that. Well actually I do. That's a good idea. We'll have him go like that. And then straighten him out. Make him not not be fucked anymore. And bring him down again. Then we'll turn him the other way. Yeah, that looks good. Then we'll like bring him up this way. Here we go. And now this is a coaster. Come on. I want him to go further. Deeper, deeper. Now we gotta modify the goddamn terrain. Oh, that's like an angle drop. That's fun. Okay, let's see here. Scenery. Terrain? What? I can't change the terrain. Fortunately, I learned that I can undo, so let's like straighten them out. Right, so let's do a test. Oh wait, slow the, slow the fuck down. Is he gonna make it? Yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Hope this guy doesn't like kill anyone. Let's see, it's pretty exciting, pretty uh... Not anymore though. Oh, now he's getting better though. <laughs> oh, cause he's restarted. He didn't restart before. I'm just kinda stuck there. Nausea. Okay. Let's look at the results. Okay, well, you don't get results if it crashes, I guess. <laughs> Makes sense to me. I wonder how long we can get this, keep this momentum going for. Because, like, I got an idea. You can turn it this way. And have him, like... Is that going to hit the tree? No. Let's have it go up a little bit more. There we go. Now we'll do that. Turn them the other way. Auto complete. Okay. Looks good to me. I'll call him the slithering snail, slithering slug. Cause usually it's like serpent or something. But like, I don't know. We don't. We don't want expectations to be too high here. Slithering slug. Okay. Station. Let's test it. Test the boy. Can I ride it? Show me. It's the fruits of my labor. Hey. <laughs> so uh, this is me. I am. I'm dummy. It's uh, pretty good so far. It's uh. That's not so good though. Didn't really consider that uh. The sun's right there. Yeah, you're gonna get blasted on this ride, unfortunately. Forward G-force. It's, uh, it's a little bit. We can up the speed of these rails, can't we? I think I will, because this is kind of like a long time. Unless the tension is good. Ooh, the fear is mounting. The fear is mounting. <laughs> Let's get into the green zone. Hopefully it won't go too much higher than that. We got the excitement is mounting. Fear. Fear. Getting scary. Oh, we're pretty high up. Alright guys, 
Okay, so the fear is lowering now. This is cool. I like this one. Nausea, apparently. I guess if you're like, if you look down, you might get a little nauseous. For some reason, the fear is dropping now. It's like, eh, we were already at the fucking top. The worst of it is over. I feel like the fear should be the highest here. Okay, let's see here. Oh my god. I think I just made the world's best poster. Oh shit. Okay. Well, I'm wrong. That's what it's like, though. You always turn, and the turning, like, kills him. The turning's, like, too much. Like, this is probably way too much. Like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well. What's the highest G force? Eight? That's probably okay, to be honest. That's not gonna kill anyone, is it? <laughs> okay. Let's see some heat maps. Visualize. Fear. Previous run data. Yeah, so it's like okay in these places. Let's redo some of this, because it's like it was okay here. I think the problem here was like turning too quickly. Can I have him sync it up to this one? Alright, let's redo that. Man, troubleshooting. Oh, fuck. Well, it might be a little scary at some times, but I think we can live with that. A little bit of fear is good for you, you know? Okay, well, I think what we need to do is, like, wear off the momentum. Because, like, this shit's still going too fast, right? Just auto-complete. That's cutting it kind of close. Now I like what it's doing except, let's, let's go from like this side, because this is really what's going to do it. Why is he going up? Does he have like any other choice but to go up? Maybe that's why. Now auto-complete. I know we can test this son of a bitch. Okay, well. Let's at least see, you know. Yeah. Uh We brought down some of the G-force. But I don't think we really want to, like, hit these hot red zones. This is cool. This, like, analyzing thing, this is cool. So I guess we just turn too fast here. Okay, well. Let's do some undoing. You know, these are probably fine. What's wrong is like this turn here is dramatic. Whoops. Whoops. Get this shit off. Monthly profit. Okay, well, it wasn't so good this time. It wasn't so good.
I'm like, we're gonna lose energy here. That's what we're trying to do. He'll probably be going kind of slower at this point. But uh, let's just, like, make sure, right? Because he might not be. <laughs> Alright, now let's start the test. This is looking better by the minute. You know? Fear. Can these boys go any faster? Chain speed. Yeah, we can get to like to 14. <sighs> Shit. Okay, so I think that's all acceptable. Okay, so that's where we kill him. That's the place where we kill him. Uh, just like, yeah, fucking die, idiots. Forward, forward's like pretty much good all the whole way. Yeah, so we're kind of okay here. Pass two. Pass one. Wait. Come on. Why is he so low right now? Because it's vertical I want to be looking at. It's the one where he dies. You sure seven? I guess that's the average. Forward. That one's not shit. Lateral. Lateral's pretty good all throughout, except like right here, where it's like five. And uh, maybe we'll snap someone's neck, but what? whatever, you know? Whatever, dude. Maybe turning it this way will help decrease that. <laughs> <laughs> This is obviously the fucked section here. <laughs> you can really get in depth to like this shit, can't you? Wow, okay, well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What have I done? Nice, right, let's see the vertical. Yeah, well. Let's undo all this wackiness. Just delete this motherfucker. Auto-complete him. Cancel. Now auto-complete. And that looks like, you know, he probably won't die from this one, right? I mean, I'm assuming. Heat maps. Excitement. Fear. <sighs> Results. Well, you know, we're not killing anyone from this one, probably. I think I'm done. Place entrance. You know, he's uh, he's here in the middle. Place an exit. To, uh, I guess you got to get off the same way you came in. Connect entrance to a path. Let's slow the sim speed down. I think uh, you know everyone, and their mother is gonna want to ride this, so we'll uh, give it this weird-ass looking path here. Connect it up, and uh, we're good. What's the path like they're using for this one? So this guy? Yeah. We can have like a bifurcation here. And uh... Ugh, how do I lower the path? Come on. We're trying to make ends meet here. <laughs> I've done it. Can we open them now? 
open. Steel Vengeance 3. This is the third one I made. Um, slithering Slug. And look at him. That's probably a good place to call it quits, right? Thanks. Thanks, guys.